Good day, good day my fellow fans, today's news. An online battle has broken out over which country is worse off, the United States or the United Kingdom. But this battle isn't over living standards, wages, the economy, food or even football. The unusual fight is over which member of the controversial royal couple of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is worse for the country they've imposed themselves on. The debate started with a tweet from American author Buzz Patterson. He asked the Twitter universe, Hey England, can you take Harry back? We don't like him, the US. This quickly went viral and was picked up on by political commentator and talk TV panelist Etha Kraku. She replied, You gave us Meghan, consider Harry Karma, the UK. Her response was lapped up by many on social media with one calling it the perfect response. Another user suggested that because they gave us James Corden back, the UK should send them Prince Andrew. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have become like Marmite to the online community since leaving their royal duties and the UK a few years ago to seek a quieter life in California. This caused a rift between Harry and Prince William, who according to reports barely said a word to each other at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last month. The couple were actually booed by members of the public outside the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral in London too. Another user on Twitter had a better suggestion for the couple, tweeting, let's give them both to North Korea and call it Even Stevens. Esther's tweet quickly went viral. She has never been shy about holding in her views of the royal couple, specifically the former actress. In 2020 she tweeted, the British public are so racist that we spent millions on the Markle wedding and cottage refurbishments to really put them in their place. Does no one have anything nice to say about the UK anymore, for the love of God? Although she did take her side once, when she wrote whatever you think of Meghan Markle, I cannot imagine having a family happy to sell your stories to tabloids at every turn. I'm not saying she's perfect, but come on. To have your own father badmouth you to the press 24-7 is just unbecoming. Shame, they can't catch a break these two. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.